Welcome everyone. Last time we've seen each other, I told you that this time we will turn our gaze towards something green. And here we are, back in the old world of Warhammer, populated by many races such as dwarves, elves, humans and the more. Among them, there are orcs, a species that is a part of so-called greenskin race. The biggest and the meanest of them all are so-called Black Orcs, which I'd like to introduce you to in this entry. For visuals I chose Black Orc miniature from Black Orcs Blood Bowl team, as they are most recent depiction of those creatures and I just simply love those sculpts. Look at the one being painted, it's just gorgeous. In its own way. Now, who are they and where do they come from? As mentioned before, Black Orcs are biggest, meanest and strongest of all greenskins. Their name comes from their skin color, which is in much darker green tone than a regular or savage orc. Those green beasts are focused solely on fighting and oh boy, they do take fights much more serious than the rest of their kind. They are best and elite warriors in their tribes and as such they are equipped with best possible weapons and armor the tribe can provide. As best among all of the greenskins, they have priority when it comes to looting spoils after the battle they took part in. Black Orcs are constantly aiming to be better warriors, hence they hone their combat skills whenever they can. Black Orcs possess interesting traits, uncommon amongst greenskins. Despite the fact that the Orcs mostly are not brightest creatures out there, Black Orcs are able to use kind of psychological warfare against their opponents by trying to appear even bigger and meaner than they are. They achieve this effect by wearing special massive black armor, but I mean truly massive one, and a lot of tribal ornaments that help to scare opponents off. But I mean truly massive one and a lot of tribal ornaments that help to scare opponents off. All of those before mentioned traits makes Black Orcs think about themselves as far superior to other greenskins to the point that they prefer to gather in warbands or mobs that are independent from the rest of greenskin armies. Furthermore, they consider behavior of other greenskins to be brazen to the point that they refuse to share barracks with them. Hence, tribe war bosses often give them their own barracks, where they store their weapons and hang with their kind only. After all, black orcs only care about food, gear and a really good fight.
Ah yes, fighting. When it comes to fighting in battles, Black Orcs are considered to be elite infantry. As mentioned before, they wear huge black armor and are equipped with multiple weapons of various sizes. Greenskins call those choppas. Unlike their smaller and more stupid brethren, black orcs are actually taking care of their equipment by repairing, cleaning or decorating it. Black Orcs are also known for their uncharacteristic behavior, totally unfitting that of the Greenskins. They often conduct military drills and actually train before battle in order to prepare themselves. This kind of behavior drifts Black Orcs apart from their lesser, both in mind and body brethren, even further. majority of greenskins prefer to celebrate mindlessly by looking for opportunity for a simple brawl. Black orcs are considered by other greenskins as joyless and too rigid. This however translates on a battlefield. Smaller greenskins are often fighting their battles without thinking or using any kind of tactics or strategy whatsoever. That makes them very easy to break and scatter. Black Orcs, however, are using before mentioned psychological warfare as well as simple tactics on a battlefield. Their warbands often occupy enemy soldiers in the center of a battle and are extremely hard to break or fight off thanks to their enormous strength and endurance, factors that can change the tide of a battle. Now you know who Black Orcs are, how they fight, how they live. But where are they from and how they came to be? Well, they are actually an experiment gone wrong, very wrong. Most common theory is that Black Orcs are a result of Chaos Dwarfs' attempts to create a new and better breed of Orcs. Imagine that, trying to improve already brutal, strong and savage beast. What can go wrong? Well, this time everything did. There is no certainty to when exactly those experiments took place, as there is not much knowledge on that forgotten age after all. However, during that time Chaos Dwarfs owned Greenskins as their slaves, and sought to make them more obedient, as orcs' chaotic nature and tendencies to fight between themselves truly made the case dwarves wary. The chaos dwarves came up with solution they thought to be perfect.
they selected the largest and strongest of their green skin slaves and with aid of dark formulas and arts, magically created first Black Orc. This folly only hastened the demise of Chaos Dwarves. Yes, they succeeded in creation of a new breed of orcs, orcs that no one has ever seen before, but even with their mastery of the dark magic, the dwarf sorcerers could not overcome one feature every green skin possess. That is truly powerful sense of independence. That being said, black orcs that supposed to be those perfect slaves became perfect leaders for the rest of their brethren, and soon they would rise against the tyrannical masters. Uprising succeeded. Chaos Dwarf's empire has been almost completely destroyed. Greenskin Tide even made it to the heart of the Chaos Dwarf's empire, the Temple of Hashut. If it wasn't for Hubgoblin betrayal, Chaos Dwarves would be extinct these days. As a final outcome of these events, many greenskin slaves were brought back to the slave pits. However, the black orcs were able to make their way through and were somewhat accepted by other greenskin societies. Since those events, Black Orcs consider themselves to be very best warriors not only in their tribes, but within whole Greenskin race. They are disciplined and proud in their behavior, unlike the rest of the Orcs, which makes them despise the rest of their brethren. Other than that, the fact that the rest of the Orcs are unable to focus their energy on fighting enemies of Greenskins instead of constant fights among themselves does not make that easier. It is even worse when it comes to goblins. Black Orcs consider them to be unworthy to carry their gear, not to mention taking part in open battles. And that relation is really interesting one, as despite open contempt for goblins, Black Orcs often tend to fight alongside those sneaky gits in battle or be a member of the same team in Blood Bowl matches. However, when it comes to goblins, I will give more details and lore about them in our next entry. Stay green until then, and for now, I bid you very fond goodbye.